it's safe to say that in certain areas we're seeing more jellyfish blooms than we used to. Given the kinds of impacts that we humans are having on the oceanic ecosystem, we're removing species uh, through fishing and through pollution, and gelatinous animals are quick to jump in and fill empty niches. Let's say that a species of, of fish is over-harvested commercially, and we push the population down to the point where that niche is essentially empty. Gelatinous animals are the kinds of creatures that can move in and, and occupy that niche for a while. And while we humans may respond to the situation by holding back on the fishing, giving the, the commercially harvested species a chance to recover, it may find it difficult to move back into its niche because it's occupied now by gelatinous animals. Jellies are a, a natural part of the, of the biota of the ocean, of the mix of species that, that make up the oceanic ecosystem. And uh, they have a, a rightful place in, in the, the natural or, or normal structure of things. When things get out of balance, it's easier for jellies to uh, expand their populations and to take advantage of uh, impacts on, on other species. That doesn't make them invaders. It doesn't make them necessarily uh, bad for things overall because, after all, they are a natural part of the system. And like a good government, a natural ecosystem has checks and balances. And so uh, our best bet is to hope that the natural ecological balance will settle things up. We may have a different community than we started with, but as long as we don't push it too far, we'll have the kind of community that still functions and keeps the, the overall ecosystem stable.